Hey there folks, I hope you have all had a good holiday season, no matter what holiday it is that you celebrate. Um, I hope you all saw the holiday gift that I left you on the 24th. Sim 2 PKM, my newest project, my newest programming project. Um, basically the history of this is that when I made Challenge Cup for Wi-Fi, uh, which, takes, which randomly generates six random PKM files that are legal for uh, Challenge Cup that you can just easily import into Pokegen, and there you have a Challenge Cup team that you can use on, uh, you know, use for Challenge Cup battles. When I made that team, uh, Joey, aka PokeMMD, um, asked me, could you do this for, like, any PO or PS team? And I said, well, in theory, half the work is done. I could do it, but... You know, I didn't really have the motivation to work on it for a while. Uh, but then a few weeks ago, I was like, you know what, I actually do want to work on this. And so I spent a bit uh, coding it up, and it's done. And, and just in time for Christmas. Although now it's after Christmas, so if you hadn't seen it before. Oh, well. Anyway, um, sim to PKM, what it does is you take a team that you made in uh, PO or PS, you export that team, you um, paste it into this little program, this little tiny... Uh, program that I've written, and it'll generate the PKM files. You can import them into PokeSave or PokeGen, and you're done. Um, there's no making teams in PokeGen anymore, and you know, oh god, I missaved, or oh, I had no idea that you couldn't use uh, that move on that Pokemon. Um, it all, you know, if you, the team builder takes care of all the legality, and um, my program takes care of making them into PKM files, and so it should be much harder to missave things unless you, you know, uh, screw them up on the simulator uh on the simulator team builder but anyway yeah so um these pkm files will not pass hack checks without you further modifying them um basically i think you'll just probably need to um generate a legal pid if you've made teams for um pokesave or pokegen you know what that means if you don't then don't worry about it you'll still be able to use them you just won't be able to upload the battle to um as a battle video to the nintendo wfc anyway so yeah, this this is a, this is the Smogon um, page, which is the project homepage. There's also a GitHub link, but anyway, you can find this link. You can just copy down this link, or you can uh, find this link on my channel page. Um, it contains the download links, Windows, Mac, Linux. If you're on some other sort of operating system and you want me to make you a custom build, uh, let me know and I'll do what I can. But so anyway, uh, let's get down to it. I've already taken the liberty of downloading it. Um, so, and it's a, it's a zip file on Windows. You open up the zip file. Um, first thing you should always do, uh, Windows, Mac, Linux, doesn't matter uh, when you get an archive like this, read the thing that says read me. So this talks a little bit about it, but more importantly, it has detailed written instructions on what to do and how to use this program. So read that, uh, or watch this video. The content is the same. Anyway, I've also taken the liberty of extracting this already. That's the first step. You need to extract uh, not only this little batch file, but you also need to uh, uh, export the folder. I mean, uh, uncompress the folder. You don't need to do the README, but you know you should always do it anyway. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and run sim to pkm. Uh, this you can ignore this thing right here. Although if you get errors, you're going to want to look at this. Um, the first thing that's going to pop up is ask a a prompt asking you what folder you want to save the PKM files to. I'm just going to do the desktop for now. Uh, you might want to create a separate folder. Um, that might be nice for keeping these things organized. Okay, so now uh, you've got this window open. Now you need to get your team. So let's go ahead and grab a team off Pokemon Showdown. Uh, what you do is you go to Team Builder, import, exp um, select a team. Um, let's go ahead and choose this Running the Bulls team, which you might remember me using a while ago. I'm not sure how this... I'm going to put the nickname back in here. Scythebot for the Kabutops. Anyway, uh, save. Uh, import, export. So here you see just it's simple text. Um, easy to import or export. Select it all. Copy it. Pull up. Sim to PKM. Control V to paste. And then you just have to hit generate PKM files and close. Um, you can also you can also get a Challenge Cup team or a Ranbats team and paste that into here. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna get a Ranbats team. For those of you who don't know, Ranbats is Pokemon Showdown's equivalent of Challenge Cup, except for the sets are more useful and you don't tend to get as worthless sets. So here we go. Um, this is a different form of export. This is called a JSON file, J-S-O-N, uh, JavaScript object. I'm not sure what the N stands for. But um, 
sim to pcam will also take this as its input. Um, you don't have to, you, you can either do this or uh, plain text like, you know, this stuff. Um, but so all you'd have to do is take this and paste this into sim to pkm and then you might also want to click numbered pkm file uh, pkms so that they generate in the they generate in the same way that cc for wi-fi generated them so that you import them one two three four five six um and you preserve the order and you don't have to say okay well which pokemon came first although it's actually pretty easy to read here so skarmory came first garbodor came second and then beyond that unless you're playing triples you don't care so anyway when you're ready when everything's imported in, all you have to do is hit Generate PKMs and Close. And on the desktop, uh, six new PKM files will be created. You load up your Pokegen. Load up your Pokegen. Um, and you'll be able to import them straight away. Now, um, as I said, these... These PKM files aren't designed to be legal in the sense that they're not designed to pass hack checks. What they are designed to do is look legal, though. So I do run some um, preliminary kind of legality checks to try to make things at least look legal so that... Basically, this is just because there are a few things that wi fires do um, that are pet peeves of mine. People who, you know, don't who don't breed their own Pokemon. There's a couple things I do that really piss me off, and this is kind of meant to take care of that. So this is a clay doll from a different team. Um, but yeah, you just set it in there. Um, obviously, you'd want an actual team here. Uh, you know, you want an actual save file to work from. But so anyway, one example is, that people don't do is that when they have event-only Pokemon, they either make them shiny when they can't be shiny, or they make them not shiny when they need to be shiny. A great example is the Crown Pokemon, um, Entei, Raikou, and Suicune. Um, if they know extreme speed, they have to be shiny, and they have to be in a Cherish Ball. So first thing that the Simon to PKM does is it, um, since none of the team builders, uh, at least may, I don't think Pokemon Online does this, um, none of the team builders let you select uh, what uh, Pokeball to use, um, Sim to PKM chooses that for you. It's a Pokeball by default, but if it has to, excuse me, if it has to be either in a Dream Ball or a Cherish Ball, It'll put it in that for you. The other thing is that if it's an event-only Pokemon, you'll see um, even though this Pokemon in the um, in the export, even though it had a name, so this is Dogbot, um, it's a, it's an event Pokemon. It can't have a nickname. So I remove the nickname. Don't allow it to have a nickname. You can see that it's forced to be shiny here. Um, again, so the P the PID isn't legal. Um, but you could generate a legal one for yourself. But when you import this and you put this into um, uh, to Desmumi, or not Desmumi, when you bring, put this in your save file, load it in your uh, game, you will see that they'll basically look legal, uh, and that that's a nice thing, at least to me. Uh, and, you know, if you're like, what, well, screw, screw you, Antar, I want a nickname, you can always just overwrite that and, you know, put the nickname back in. Um, but so that's that, and that's um, sim to pkm and that's how it works. Uh, and it should work great. Uh, you shouldn't have any problems. The only there is a problem with Shaman, but I'm uh, Shaman. If you're using Shaman Skyform, basically you have to have a Gracedia party, uh, Gracedia flower, in your um, game, and you need to manually change its form. Um, but I think that's actually a Pokegen problem. Uh, I, at least I can't. I've tried doing stuff in Pokegen, uh, just moving around and making you know shaman sky forms and it doesn't stay shaman sky form for me so but maybe it does for you so i don't know anyway i hope this was a clear tutorial if not you might want to read the written instructions they might be a bit clearer um enjoy uh if you have problems feel free to comment on this video feel free to leave a post on smogon uh or feel free to uh go to my github site and uh make uh, an issue right here um Oh, this is closed. I should close this. Um, anyway, never mind. There are no known issues right now except for the Shaman thing that I already told you about that I think is a um, Pokegen problem anyway. Um, sim to pkm does not automatically update, so if you're having problems, um, you might want to check to make sure that your version of sim to pkm is the most recent version, which is why that README file is important, because it'll tell you, oh, this is version 1.3, and let's say version 1.5 is out now, and that might fix some things, but... Um, as of making this tutorial, 1.3 is the correct version. So anyway, yeah, that's it. <coughs> if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask. Otherwise, enjoy. Uh, and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year, whatever. So long.